Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another mini camera. This company got in touch with me and they wanted me to basically test this little camera. They've probably seen my other cameras, obviously the SQ cameras, the SQ8 all the way to the SQ13. And I believe this is very, very similar. So I'd like to have a look and see what the actual differences are and if it's any better. So the actual name of the company, eHomful, there's a website down there at the bottom. And I believe this camera is the E003. Mini camera and contain magnetic. So I'm assuming there's a magnet in there. Uh, it says there's motion detection, strong magnet, night vision. Uh, motion detection was in quite a few of the SQ cameras, but not in the SQ13. A little thank you card, a cloth, and there is the camera and what looks to be a mount or a stand. There's some other goodies in here at the bottom. A micro SD card reader, which is good. Get a micro USB charger. Good, and this looks like some sort of string that you can maybe connect to the camera and hang it off, I don't know, like a keychain or whatever. Um, and a manual. Okay, seems to be pretty straightforward. Um, English instructions. Cool. We have a foam pad, so, oh, you get a uh, SIM tray tool. Hmm. Maybe that's to reset the cameras or the camera. Just push, push that out. Okay, here is the stand. That magnet is, wow. That's a powerful magnet. This is an adhesive sticker. I'm going to leave that on there at the moment. I don't want to peel it off or put it anywhere. e Humphrey logo there. It can spin around. It does exactly like it does on the SQ13. But this is far stronger than the SQ13 magnet. Far, far stronger. Very powerful. Push the camera out. Shit. Here's the camera. Nice, smart design. It's a black shell. Looks to have a metal body throughout. Nice silver trim at the front. The lens at the top. This must be for night vision. That's blank. That's blank there at the back as well. That's where you're going to hook your string. That side is blank. This side, e Humphrey logo, micro USB port, a little reset switch there, which I'm assuming we use the SIM tray tool to reset that and a micro SD card slot. We have a couple of buttons there, so a power button, and what was probably a mode button of some sort, and obviously the, the pattern as well is a little bit different on there, sort of a mesh pattern at the top. And this, there we go. So it only goes one way, you can't put it on, on the sides. Just at the back of the camera it fits and it's very very strong magnet very very strong indeed I know you can stick that anywhere you like as well it's an adhesive you don't get any spare stickers but I'm sure you can buy 3m stickers to replace that if it does get if it does lose its stickiness let's stick this on Yeah, it's not as strong on the SQ13, because when you move the SQ13, the magnet doesn't even move with it. With that, it does. So they're definitely designed for each other. If 
very strong indeed. Let's put an SD card in there. Okay, it's in. Let's apply some power then. Cool. So we have a green light here. I'm assuming that's a mode button. Yeah, blue, green, oh, blue and green. Let me put a cable in there. Just had a quick read through the instructions. So the red light indicates that it's charging at the moment. And on the instructions, it does say, once it's charged, the red light will disappear. And it also supports charging and recording at the same time. So the green indicator is a recording indicator. So I'll just press that. And now we should be recording while on charge. Now, if there are flicker, if there is flickering on this video, that's because I have the artificial lighting on. Let's turn the artificial lighting off. So this is natural light now with this mini camera. So I'm going to go around the room into my face. Thumbs up. Let's direct it right out the window. Bit of light there, and then adjust to come back into the room. Okay, so. Let me know what the audio sounds like and what you think of the picture or video quality. Obviously, I have no idea what it looks like or sounds like at the moment because I'm doing this video now. Right, let's stop recording with the power button. There we go. So support while charging is good. Let's unplug that. Uh, so the blue light is photo mode. So if we do a selfie, Press the power button. And it does flashed. The blue light flashes when you take a photo. Switch back to video mode. It's recording video again. Okay, so let's have a look at motion detection because from what I'm reading in the instructions is it's been a lot easier than it is on the SQ cameras. So at the minute we are in standby mode in recording, oh, it's just turned off. Turn it back on. So now we're in standby mode and you press the mode button for three seconds and then blue and green should flash for a few seconds after that. So let's hold it down for three seconds, mode button. One, two, three, there we go. So that's now in motion detection mode. I'm guessing now if I move it a lot, it's going to start recording. It also says if it detects motion, the blue and green indicates flash one time and then go out. Let's have a look. There we go. Just saw that flash and now it is recording. So can we stop that? I'm sure we can st stop that. Yep. Yeah. Let's do that again. Hopefully you can see the lights. So uh, mode button for a few seconds. One, two, three. Right. So now if I walk with my fingers in front of this camera, it should flash. Yes, it did. It's flashed and now it's recording. Cool. I don't know how long it records for. It doesn't say in the instructions. So let's stop that. Cool. Now this camera does have night vision and there are no buttons on here to enable night vision. In the instruction manual it says when the illumination is below 10 lux, night vision will be automatically turned on. So that in there, there is a light sensor to determine whether night vision is on or off, which is great and which is a lot better than the settings and stuff you have on the, the Quilima SQ13. I mean, that for me is probably not going to be dark enough to um, to allow for night vision mode on this. But I'm just going to try and find a dark spot somewhere in the house. Bear with me. How about in this cupboard?
and this has definitely got to be below 10 lux in this airing cupboard a little bit of light behind me that should definitely suffice be interesting to see after the video let's come out maybe night vision turns off but no right let's stop the video okay hopefully that worked so this is the the website um is a chinese company a chinese website and it's 36 dollars 99 i think the camera overall from first impressions and functionality is better than the sq camera range and is slightly dearer than the sq camera range for that reason as well i'll include a link in the description below so you can take a look if you wish but it's magnetic so you can pretty much put it anywhere with a bit of metal. Enable motion detection on there and it will start recording immediately. I'm not sure whether the Quilima has a built-in magnet or is it just metal and the brackets magnet. Let's have a look. There you see, it's not it's just going to drop. There's no magnet actually in the Quilima camera. Cool. I really like that guys, I think it's pretty cool. So if you do like your mini cameras, just like me, um, please go and take a look at this. Very, very cool. There's a hell of a lot we could, uh, you can do with this particular camera. I hope the video quality turned out okay and the night vision worked. So there we go guys. The E003 Mini Fish Eye Spy Camera. This is on the eHomful website, a bit of a strange name. Um, it does look very, very promising. I will be doing a review hopefully in the next couple of weeks once I've tested this thoroughly, but this was the unboxing and very quick look at this neat little camera. Any questions guys, please comment below. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.